All right, what's up you guys? This is part three. Part three, we're building the rest of the roll cage for the buggy. Brought a Pro Tools tubing bender. We're gonna wing it like we usually do. I got 60 feet of tube. I'm gonna try my best. I don't wanna screw anything up because tubing gets expensive. So what I'm thinking I wanna do to start here, I wanna have a bar, two bars come from here and they're gonna come down to here. So I think I wanna come straight out about 10 or 12 inches angle down till right above here and then straight down. First bend at the top is going to be around 47 degrees and then the bend down here is going to be around 55. Just a rough guess so I can, you know, the first bend I'll bend at like 40 degrees. We'll hold it up, we'll check it, see if we like it. Bend it to 47 or 45, whatever. Same with the one at 55 degrees. I'd like to leave a little overhang up here and at the bottom so if I can adjust it any way possible if I need to. Let's try this thing out, I haven't used it yet. I'm always so nervous but it's just, it's just tubing. Whatever. All right, let's slide the tube in there. Nice and clean, you know what I'm saying? This is when I need a bigger garage because this is a, this is a pain in the, you know what? I'm smashing shit. Man! The hell? Tubing bender. This thing is like 70 or 80 pounds. She's thick. All right, insert here. Holy man. Oh, get out of my way. I don't think we'll ever have to bend anything bigger than this. If we do, we're going to have some goddamn, goddamn, goddamn issues, I tell you. Come on, come on. Get in the hole. Oh, there we go. We got her inserted. Insert here, baby. The line's right here. We gotta line this line up with somewhere in there. <laughs> oh, it's rough in there. Come on! Yeah! Yeah, buddy! A garish? A bigger garish? Dude, what a pain. Buggy's in the way, shit's in the way, everything's in the way. Oh, come on, yeah. yeah! Now that we're pretty much working on top of the buggy. Where's my friends? I don't have any. We're this short. I don't even have any room to freaking. <sighs> all right, I think I got her now. I got my chair holding it. These are all my degrees. So first bend, what are we doing? 47, we'll go to 40. A homemade little handle here. Here goes nothing, I guess. here that's fine I can move the whole thing make this part shorter whatever I don't care it doesn't have to be exactly 10 12 inches or whatever bender about 55 degrees boom My tubing notcher here. Haven't used this either. We're gonna notch this out, see what it does. Okay, here we go. Got my end notched, and look at this. Look at this. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Sick. Now I just gotta make another one for this side. Oh! 
Nice, I like it. So I'm just gonna bend the other one up and then be good to go. so far. Next, I gotta cut this at a slight angle on this end. Gotta butt up with this one. I like to come about there. The same on the other side. And I got something cool for in the middle here. Got a good idea. So I 3D printed this a long time ago. You slide this over the tube, kind of like this, right? Wherever you want it to butt up, push these pins in and it'll take the curve of the pipe at whatever angle you want it at. Look at this fitment. Ooh, look at that. Toit. I like it, yeah? Fucking mint. coming along pretty good. Now I'm going to do a bar for in here, extra support. Do you like it? You haven't seen it yet. You probably don't like it, eh? What would you do different? Tell me. What would I do different? Yeah. Put some fucking wheels on it for starters. Hey, one thing at a time. <laughs> Not bad. So I think in the middle section here, I want to do, because the front is a, is a point, I want to kind of keep that point theme going. I want to point kind of like that. Something like that. Four. One, two, three, four. I think that'll look pretty cool. So I cut a bunch of these, cut a bunch of angles, and try to get them all fitted up. my pieces tacked together. Now this tool that I showed you, so I kind of line it up where I want it. I adjust all these needles to where it hugs the pipe nicely, just like that. And I can slide it back onto the pipe. I can mark that with Sharpie, and I know what angle to cut that on. I could use the whole saw too, but I'll probably just cut it on an angle and then just grind it and shape it how I want it. All right, I did kind of a rough cut. Looks pretty ugly, but First try. Fits pretty nice. Not bad. I like it. Now I just gotta do three more. Yeah, I got them all tacked on. I think they look pretty sweet. Eyeballed, of course. I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, I'll weld them all up and on to the next thing. It's all done and I got a little uh, happy with some sanding paper and it looks freaking good. I really like the way it looks. I think it looks pretty unique. Kind of matches the front. All right, but that's gonna be it for this video. Next video, I'm gonna be taking a little drive down to Mike at Sorensen Performance and he's gonna show us how he machines the parts for the whole drivetrain for this thing. So that's gonna be pretty sweet. Uh, stay tuned for that video. If it ain't broken, don't fix it. But if it ain't upgraded, upgrade it. You guys have a good night.